Is there anything better than a solid music doc? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 pop music documentaries. For this list, we'll only be looking at documentaries that revolve around pop music acts. So rap, rock, country, and the like will simply have to wait their turn. Unless, of course, the band has permeated pop culture so significantly that its music can also be considered pop. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Whitney, Can I Be Me? A once-in-a-generation talent with a substance abuse problem that ultimately led to her demise, Whitney Houston was a pop star like no other. Congratulations, first of all, on having the number one song in America. Isn't that something? Thank you. How does that feel? <laughs> it feels great. It feels really, really great, I must tell you. Thus, the documentary tasked with summing up her life is in turn equally intriguing. Her mother was very much against it, Clive was very much against it. It wasn't cool to have a lesbian affair. Directed by one of the world's most celebrated documentarians in Nick Broomfield, Whitney Can I Be Me is a telling and deeply personal look into the life of a woman who was both abundantly talented and tragically flawed. The film does a fantastic job of digging into what made Whitney such a polarizing figure while simultaneously providing a glimpse into the harsh realities of music superstardom. Because then people always think that you have to be this grand old person that's just happy about life and everything because what, we got money? Money doesn't make you happy. Number 9. Katy Perry, Part of Me As the title suggests, this documentary is an autobiography of sorts, focusing on the rise of pop star Katy Perry and more specifically her 2011-2012 California Dreams tour. I just thought they should just let her go. It was like holding somebody hostage. Who am I living for? It was probably her most desperate moment. The 3D film is loaded with awesome cameos from some of Perry's A-list friends and even features interviews with the Grammy nominee, as well as many of her closest confidants. Sometimes we say forever, but it's easier to say than to do, and this is called The One That Got Away. Equal parts biopic and concert film, Katy Perry Part of Me is the preeminent Katy Perry documentary that any and all superfans would be foolish not to see. Number 8. Chasing Happiness Released in conjunction with and just a few days before their fifth studio album, this documentary focuses on Kevin, Joe, and Nick Jonas as they reunite to make Happiness Begins. How do you get to um, Captain Hook, King of the Island, Chiefest Crook? Only one enemy do I know, Peter Pan, my chiefest foe. While it delves into the Jonas Brothers' early days, the Amazon Prime film is a candid, behind-the-scenes look at their artistic and personal journeys, including their attempts at distinguishing themselves from the trio that gave them fame, as well as their sibling rivalries. No, we want to tell you that we want to go on a date with you. We want to go on a date with an old hand. You want to just walk on the beach, whatever it oh. is. Produced by their management company, Chasing Happiness follows the pop rockers as they do just that, and with their first record in a decade topping the Billboard 200 and becoming 2019's biggest debut, there's no question that it's certainly helping to keep them happy for some time thereafter. That's no longer my identity, and I had to get to a place where I could say, like, formerly of the Jonas Brothers. Number 7. Justin Timberlake and the Tennessee Kids at this point in his career, JT has made it pretty clear that he can do it all, and now that includes a high-energy concert documentary that will make you feel like you're on stage with the magnetic pop star himself. Directed by the late, great Academy Award winner Jonathan Demme, Justin Timberlake and the Tennessee Kids is a marvel to behold. Filmed during the final nights of Timberlake's The 2020 Experience World Tour, the documentary is an in-your-face look at what it feels like to perform for thousands of screaming fans. Oh, and the best part? It's on Netflix. Number 6. Gaga 5 Foot 2 Of all the pop stars in the music industry today, Lady Gaga should easily provide the best fodder for a behind-the-scenes documentary. And after watching Gaga 5 Foot 2, our assumptions were proven right. The film is a no-frills look into Gaga's life as she prepares to take on one of her biggest challenges to that point, headlining the Super Bowl 51 halftime show, as well as the making of her fifth record, Joanne. I got it for you, Dad. Oh, my dear. You are. 
They're just so special. Viewers are given an all-access pass into the mind of one of music's biggest stars, as she attempts to balance her ever-expanding career with an intense physical ailment. And I'm getting my mind ready to set the note right for this moment so I can, I, I, right now, like, I'm not finding the cameras when I'm supposed to find the cameras because I'm like, wait, where am I? I'm dizzy out there. You don't need to be a Lady Gaga fan to enjoy this awesome doc. Number 5. Michael Jackson's This Is It MJ's death in 2009 came just weeks before he was set to begin a concert residency in London, titled This Is It. In response to his untimely demise, a documentary was released that gave fans the opportunity to see exactly how Jackson had been preparing for the ill-fated concert series. The film is an incredible behind-the-scenes look at the pop star's rehearsal process, and getting to watch him in his element is truly an unbelievable experience. <laughs> your time to shine. We'll be right there with you." While MJ's life was not free from controversy, this movie gave the world one last chance to say goodbye to the one and only king of pop, and was a glowing success. Number 4. Homecoming 2013's Life is But a Dream, which Beyoncé co-directed, produced, and narrated, was such a rare glimpse into the life of one of music's most private stars that it led many to herald it as a big step forward in her career. But Queen Bee outdid herself six years later. Though Homecoming was teased in early April 2019, fans didn't have to wait long for the intimate, in-depth look at her 2018 Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival performance. Once again directed and produced by Beyoncé, as well as written by her, the doc hit Netflix on the 17th of that month and was accompanied by Homecoming the live album, both of which have earned massive critical acclaim. My family is my sanctuary, my weakness and my strength. They're my tribe and it was important that we all felt like family. Number 3. Madonna, Truth or Dare the oldest documentary to make our list, Madonna Truth or Dare is an in-depth look into the life of the world-renowned pop star at the height of her career. Well, I had a dream last night that um, Gorbachev came to my show. My first reaction was <laughs> that Warren Beatty was going to be so jealous that I got to meet him first. <laughs> The film, which is also narrated by Madonna, focuses on her highly successful 1990 Blonde Ambition World Tour. When it was released, it was met with widespread critical and commercial acclaim, and up until 2002, it was the highest grossing documentary of all time. A fact that is pretty impressive when you think about it. Neat. Anybody who says my show is neat has to go. You're not a true fan of the genre unless you've seen this. Number 2. The Beatles' Eight Days a Week – The Touring Years this is the ultimate doc for Beatles superfans of all ages. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on the air in the United States, here are the Beatles singing I Want to Hold Your Hand. Directed by none other than Ron Howard, the film combines archival footage with interviews with surviving members Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney in order to examine an oft-forgotten portion of the group's incredible 10-year run, their time and life on the road. Every minute of the day, someone wanted something. You know, drive to EMI to do a record, down here to Soho to do a photo shoot. The band's time as a touring act was short-lived for a number of reasons, all of which are explained in this critically acclaimed documentary that any and all fans need to see considering the Fab Four's impact on pop culture. That is, if they haven't seen it already. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Does anyone have any questions or anything they want to ask? Yes. <laughs> I'm feeling all right. Probably like a four out of ten. She was living two lives. But I'm sorry. Squeaky clean on the Disney Channel. Once the camera stops rolling, she's living another You're life. I worked with old ladies. Bye. Very nice old ladies. Barbara! Hi! <laughs> Hiya. What? <laughs> How are you, my love? my bum on the side. Yes, I did. I had, like, certain people into my life that were, that were just bad people, and I was very guarded at first, but then I went to a point where I ended up letting them in because I was lonely. 
or whatever the fact, and I really paid the consequences for that. I just want to leave the whole world inspired. I just want to leave a trail of inspiration. It's time for the Grammys to find an option. Travis Scott is. We don't want just hip hop. Yeah. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Amy Asking a filmmaker to capture the essence of an artist like Amy Winehouse is a pretty tall order. And yet, director Asif Kapadia makes it work. His film, simply and appropriately titled Amy, was a poignant examination into the turbulent life of the star. The documentary is made up of archival footage taken before and after Winehouse became famous, footage that serves as a window into the artist's talented yet troubled mind. She said, love is in some ways killing me, Ray Ray. She felt torn between those two things. The guy that she really loved but having to keep up with the consumption of substances. The doc ultimately took home the Best Documentary Feature Oscar at the 88th Academy Awards, not to mention a slew of other accolades. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.